Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And this is a month where, at least out of the gate, as you're starting it, if you remember last month I told you that beautiful new moon we ended last month with in your sign means that you are carrying this fresh energy into this month. There's a sense of possibility and change and luck that is very much with you. And it is like your own personal new year. And so wherever it is that you're hoping to start something new, to make changes, to do something that feels authentically aligned with something honest within you, it is as you start the month that you want to start implementing it, you want to start putting it into place and run with it. You'll be that much more glad for it. As we navigate towards the middle of the month, the energy is going to change as energy has a way of doing. And that is because of the full moon, right around the 14th of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where we are on the planet, we are going to have this month's full moon. Now, this full moon is happening in your opposite sign. So that alone can make it uh, emotional, right? To have a full moon in your opposite sign, but you add the other layer of the other planets intimately involved with this full moon. It is gonna be under the light of the full moon that Neptune, mighty close in the sky, uh, is going to perfect a connection, an opposition, as astrologers call it, to Mars standing across the sky, mighty close to the sun at this time. And this is important for a few reasons. One is that sense of changing tides and changing feelings is going to be very high for all of us. And emotional sensitivities will be high for a lot of people as well. But then you add another layer to this understanding. And this is energy that has to do with, given where this full moon is for you, another person, a partnership. Now this might be a business partnership or a professional alliance. It might be more love oriented. And I'll talk about that a little bit later, but at least for now, it does look like you are having to address a matter with another person. And it looks like there's a lot of emotions floating around at this time. Now, the great thing is that Saturn is going to be speaking in harmony with this full moon as well. I am very encouraged by that. I feel like that is gonna be the energy of stability that we need. Pluto is gonna be speaking in harmony with this full moon as well. That is going to be the energy of honesty, of understanding what's really important here, what's really going on. These two energies are going to ensure that as things change, you are able to act from a place and to be in a place where you can feel good about your own actions and where you can stay focused on what it is that really does matter. Whether it is shared success or a mutual understanding of how you're moving forward from here. Adding to the stability of this time is the fact that within four days of this full moon, Saturn will officially go direct. So that Saturnian energy is already very high at the time of the full moon. And with Saturn officially going forward, it is going to feel as if you are able to understand more clearly what is gonna get you to your long-term goals but more importantly, what you really want in your heart of hearts, what it is that really matters in this moment and in the bigger picture of your life and ensure that you are carrying forward from that very place. Now, as we navigate towards the end of the month, that is when we are going to have this month's new moon. This new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with money you earn and money that you spend. This new moon will stand across the sky from Chiron. And Chiron is really the most widely used asteroid in Western astrology today. And it represents an opportunity to look at where it is that we feel vulnerable, uh, to look at where it is that maybe a little bit of healing energy is needed. And in some cases, a lot of healing energy may be needed. Now, for you, this new moon is taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with a few different things. Self-esteem and self-worth. I think that is going to be a big theme at the time of this new moon. 
given where Chiron is, as I spoke of in the Chiron special horoscope for your sign, uh, this has to do with understanding yourself more deeply, changing, transforming from the inside out. And so what this new moon is gonna encourage you to do is do the work you need to find an authentic sense of self-love, of self-worth that becomes unshakable. And where it is that there may be some uh, sense of vulnerability in that regard, in that unshakable faith in yourself, that may come forward now. And thank goodness, because you'll be able to address it and move forward from it. For some of you though, some of this energy may show up where it comes to finances, money that you earn, money that you spend, and a new financial opportunity can show up for you at this time, but it may come with some compromise. Uh, there may be a part of you that is wanting to be more honest with yourself about whether or not this is the right opportunity for you. Now, for most Virgos out there, this is going to be an opportunity to earn more, but for some, it may revolve around a particular purchase and whether or not it is something that you feel uh, is right for you at this time in your life. Now, what you do is always up to you in light of your unique circumstance, but also know that if you do decide to accept an opportunity, whether it's to earn money or to spend money for that matter, um, there will be a little bit of vulnerability that you are navigating, especially initially. And so it could be that you're having to learn new skills or you're having to challenge yourself in some way that is inviting you to change. Regardless though, this is an opportunity, an opportunity to understand ultimately what it is that is within you and where it is that you are ready for transformation in your life. Now, where it comes to matters of love, let's go back to that full moon in the middle of the month. Love is gonna be a big theme for most of Virgos out there. This is emotional. It is a moment of honesty about where you are in love and why and how you feel about it. And yes, emotions may run high as may your hopes. If you're open to meeting someone new, when we have important lunar activity in your opposite sign, someone is there to help you to understand the lessons that only love can provide, that only seeing yourself reflected in the eyes of another can provide. And so this is gonna give you an opportunity to understand yourself more deeply and what you're really wanting. And you may surprise yourself at what comes forward at this time, but it is ultimately an opportunity to decide which way you're gonna go forward from here. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, again, it seems that emotions are running very high, whether it is within you, whether it is in this other person. It looks like there's a lot of hope tied into this moment, but sometimes with this energy as well, there might be some disappointment, and I'm so sorry to say, but it does happen. Now, that doesn't mean it's a deal breaker, it doesn't have to be. Uh, for some, it might be, but for others, this may be a time when you get to reach a place of understanding the depth that you desire, the depth of what you're feeling, and to understand whether or not it actually has to do with this person or, or whether it has to do with you getting carried up in a moment or carried away in hope of what you hope this could be. Regardless, your answers are gonna be uniquely your own and will ultimately show you something about where you are in love and why. And for those of you who are in an established bond, again, it might be a particularly emotional time. There might be a little bit of back and forth. There can be some disagreements at this time as well. And again, I'm so sorry to say that it does happen. It doesn't mean that it will happen, but it is possible that that is a characteristic of this time. Now, sometimes that happens because we have some expectation and it's hard for that expectation to be met, like reasonably met. But other times there are moments when it isn't about that. It's about feelings. It's about emotions and wanting to be more deeply understood. Regardless of what it is that does show up, this is going to be a time that you are able to navigate. Allow yourself to feel whatever it is, whatever it is that needs to come up for your partner as well as part of learning to move towards greater mutual honesty and greater stability with each other. What I love about this month for you, well, I am going to say that Saturn moving forward because Saturn is gonna move forward in a part of the sky that has to do with what the heart truly desires in every area of life. And you are gonna to start to feel slowly but surely moving forward from there that you are gaining momentum on those fronts. 
You're more honest with yourself about what you want in every area of life and how you're going to align with it, but also in love as well. You'll start to see yourself differently and understand what direction it is you're heading in in terms of experiencing more of the love that you desire. And you may surprise yourself by realizing that what you want in your heart of hearts, well, it's closer than you now realize. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.